Day number 10 of Cowboys camp here in Oxnard and one week from tonight, preseason game number one at San Francisco. But this was our day to go one on one with Dak Prescott. He's making plays during practice and making headlines across the nation this past week, drawing criticism from some for siding with Jerry Jones on the national anthem issue. Dak knows it simply comes with the territory of being the Cowboys quarterback. Were you surprised by the negative backlash that you got? Uh, no, I wasn't. When you, anytime you, you start to discuss and you talk and you tell your opinion or have an opinion on a controversial um, situation as we do as protesting the anthem, you're going to get backlash and you can't be right either way it goes. So uh, there's going to be, pe be people that, that disagree and there's going to be people that agree. So I knew going forward, going into that, um, going into that media, that media interview that I was going to say some things that people didn't agree with. You are the face of the franchise. You're on the media guide. To Troy Aikman's third year in the league, he was on the, the media guide as well. What's the best and the worst thing about being the quarterback of America's team? I mean, yeah, the best thing is just the platform. Obviously, the platform that I'm, uh, that I have to, to inspire and to motivate and to get my story and to get any story it is out to so many people. Uh, but that also can be the worst thing uh, because I'm. Um, as, as we all know, you can get a lot of backlash for things you say, things you do, um, and you live in a glass house, so uh, it's important, but I always tell people the good outweighs the bad. Dak and Sean Lee are the unquestioned leaders of this team. Catch our full conversation with the Cowboys quarterback coming up on Sunday night. Dak says he has something to prove this season, and so does his receiving core. Topping the list, the fastest guy on the team, Tavon Austin. The eighth pick of the draft five years ago. Wrist injury contributed to his falling out of favor with the Rams last year. The 5'8 Austin admits he's playing with a big chip on his shoulder this year. It's always going to be on triple my shoulder number one because I'm always been small. You know, I had the same thing coming out, you know, when I went number eight. You know, so the chip always going to be there regardless. And, um, yeah, but last year it was a little hard for me, you know, my injury, and, and I didn't get a fair chance over there. But at the end of the day, you know, God got me right now. The energy he brings, his willingness as a vet to want to get better, to coach other guys up. I mean, there's so much. He's, there's vocal leaders that are sincere, and he's one of them. Through 10 days of camp, Tavon has yet to be used in the backfield, but he is ready and willing. Coming up, Dak Prescott looks in great shape. How does he keep his slim figure? Now, your Nissan Sports Desk. Cowboys today cut running back Trey Williams out of Texas A&M. Simply could not catch a punt here in camp, and that's a problem when they want you to be the punt returner. Ranger, time now for our postcard from camp. Dak Prescott finishing off practice like he always does, playing a competitive passing game with Jason Garrett. If it looks like Dak has lost weight, it's because he has. He was down to 217 pounds at one point this offseason, down from his normal playing weight of 235. Well, you're looking great. Appreciate you're it. looking trim. You're looking fit. Now, is that because of the yogurt or the chunky soup? Uh, I'd say the yogurt to start off with in the morning and then go in the lighter version of the chunky soup. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, soup, soup plays a big part in it. Our full conversation with Dak Prescott on Sunday on CBS 11 News at 10 o'clock. Plus, we got the scrimmage 6 o'clock Sunday on TXA 21. Back to you, Doug. A lot of action ahead. Bill Jones, thank you.